What's going on, y'all? Grind and Motivate back in this thing again, man, with another video. And as you can see in your screen, Marjorie Taylor Greene, one of the worst looking ladies ever to grace through earth with her presence. Y'all like the way that rhyme? As you can see in your screen, Marjorie Taylor Greene. But yeah, man, she's definitely one of the worst looking ladies to ever grace the earth with her presence. For her to talk about anybody, anything looks wise is not okay marjorie and not on and then even on top of that marjorie taylor green is not even a good person you're not a good person you're you're uh you're one of these these right wing conservative people that's like way too right wing to the point where it's, uh, it's corrupt you're corrupted but yeah she got into it with a uh, black woman by the name of jasmine crockett i'm not too familiar with her but i am familiar with her after this clip though that, that's the only thing i'm familiar with her about but uh she basically roasted her to completion it was pretty funny even the white guys were laughing. I thought I was surprised. Like the white guys was even like, oh, I was thinking that about her. <laughs> but yeah, man, we're going to go ahead and check this clip out and then I'll give my way in. And then, of course, I would like to hear what y'all got to say. Let's get it. I, I, I think your fake eyelashes are messing up. No, the ain't nothing. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> order, Mr. Chairman. That's beneath would even you order. Order. Mr. Crockett. I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling. If someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleach blonde, bad built butch body, that would not be engaging in personalities, correct? A uh, uh, what now? Chairman, I'm I, make a, a, I make a motion to strike those I, words. I don't, I don't think that's Hold a on. part I'm of trying it. to find clarification on what quality. Chairman, I, I motion to strike I have no those idea words. What you just said. We're not gonna we're not gonna do this. Look, you guys Earlier, literally just oh, you just you just voted to do it. I'm trying to get okay. clarification. Look at calm down. Calm down. No, 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 because this is what y'all like do. So I'm trying hey, to get Ms. clarification. Miss Crockett, you're not recognized. Miss Crockett, I can't hear you with your hey, yelling. You don't want me calm to down. Be, no, you please calm don't down. Don't tell me to calm down. Calm down. Because y'all talk noise and then you can't take it. Because if I come if I come and talk shit about her, y'all gonna have a problem. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. So yeah, y'all see the turn of events right there, man. Marjorie Taylor Greene was basically throwing little jabs at the black lady, basically talking about her, her eyelashes, and that's the reason why she can't read. When she probably really wanted to say something about like, yeah, you're black, so you have a low IQ, and that's why you can't read. And you know, that's how the right-wing Republican folk be doing. They kind of, they try to go around, you know, the uh, you know the very true talking points, because they don't want to seem racist. Was like, we already know you're racist, dog. Like, you know, just because you ain't saying the N-word don't mean you ain't racist, dog. We know you're racist. But, you know, that's basically what she's trying to do right there. She said, instead of instead of saying you have a low IQ black person, I'm going to just say your eyelashes. You know, that's kind of, I guess, like uh, what they call it, dog whistles out here in these street, man. So, yeah, basically she was trying to hit with a dog whistle, you know. And then uh, when the girl came back, uh, Jasmine Crockett came back, she couldn't handle the heat. And, and apparently... None of her white counterparts could handle the heat either because they're like, oh, 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 hold on, oh, hold on, hold on. Why, why would you do that? Oh, why would you do that? Why, why would you do that? that? That was really in there like acting like she said the worst thing ever. When Marjorie Taylor Greene said what she said, you had one guy, one white guy have outrage. And then when the black woman said what she said, you had the whole room erupt. They all erupted into Karenicity. All of them. It didn't even make no goddamn sense. And then it was funny when uh, you seen the two white guys that was next to uh, there, there was one white guy that was laughing, and there was another white guy that was next to the to the black woman that was laughing. And they, like I said, they was probably thinking that thing the whole time. I was like, yeah, she's ugly. She's a goddamn ugly son of a bitch. Got, <laughs> but yeah, man. And the crazy thing is, on the internet, everybody seems to be taking Marjorie Taylor Greene's side. They they're they're throwing what she did under the under the bus. That they're, they're just throwing it away completely, like it didn't happen. And then they're acting as if this black woman is uncouth and ghetto because she responded the way she responded. And I'm not really mad at it. It might not be a time for it, but at the same time, I'm not really mad at it. It wasn't no time for Marjorie Taylor Greene to say what she said. Just because she said it in a white voice doesn't make it any better. You guys are running around here just because it's packaged in a white lady in a white voice, acting like it's not just as bad just as uncouth just as ghetto just as unprofessional it's still the same thing just marjorie taylor green said it. it it wasn't good because you guys aren't good with that kind of stuff you guys need to stay in your lane <laughs> you guys need to stay in your lane anything with social skills and uh swag you don't need to you can't do it anything that's just like cool and has some seasoning to it you can't do it stay in your lane so so yeah man in typical fashion man uh 
you know, the throw, the throw rocks and hide your hand type of deal, or, or you know, you know, uh, you know, you were throwing rocks in a glass house type of deal, whatever you want to call it. Marjorie Taylor Greene did it, and the white people they all went on call with her. And the bad thing is, I think if like a black person did that or something like that, like we'd be quick. Like that's the that's the difference between us. Like, like we got like, it's like we do have some elite coonologists, but at the same time. It's like we're like a little bit too fair and like a little bit too like just like yeah we're just like a little bit too thorough like we we would call out our own person for being like man you did say that goddamn and you weren't supposed to be saying that shit goddamn but they're like they're just running around here like hey she she just like no she didn't deserve what you say to her she didn't deserve what you say to her so yeah man it's, it's just a uh, you know clear uh you know, clear double double standard out here in these streets man Marjorie Taylor Greene has a horrible body. I do think Marjorie Taylor Greene would definitely put up some enthusiastic work if you were to get her behind closed doors. She would put some enthusiastic work. She would probably got there and bring you out to completion. Boy, that thing would be crazy, boy. That's all you hear. That's all you hearing. And then when you get when you get to working her, you get to working her, she uh she lets you finish off on her on her face and stuff like that. She one of them types. You be like, man, yeah, I'm about, I'm about to finish off, <laughs> and she and she stopped what she doing quickly. She quickly repositioned herself to get the way you going. <laughs> but yeah, man, yeah, man, y'all see how the thing going, man. It's crazy, man. It's uh typical, typical America for you. But uh, I, don't, I and I'm not taking the side of the Jam McCracker lately. I don't know if she's like even like a solid politician or not like that. She might be running these coonologist politicians that run around here talking about some. Everybody need a chance now. And, and we need the LGTV people. They, they need to have good rights. And we need the immigrants to come in here and get out of the job because the black people don't do the job. She might be one of them. I don't know. But yeah, man. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you watch it at this point, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I'll see y'all next time.